Oh. Shut up. That is disgusting. Get in there. Straight through the chest, you bitch. Greetings and salutations ladies and gents, I hope you're keeping fantastic. My name's Ramon, this is Hit or Miss TV and today we're going to be checking out The Northman. Now I'm a bit excited, but I'm not too sure if I'm overly excited. This is one of those movies that's been majorly hyped up, directed by Robert Eggers. This is the guy who's behind The Lighthouse, I do believe, with Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe, which was a really, really good movie. A lot of people I know love this, it's got... Anya Taylor-Joy, Alexander Skarsgård, and there's a nice little picture of a horsey, so I know that there's going to be horses in it. I know it's about Vikings, but I don't know much else about it. And it also stars the wonderful Ethan Hawke, who's recently in Disney's Moon Knight, or Marvel's Moon Knight, which I thought was, eh, it was all right. But I like Ethan Hawke. He's done some great movies over the years. And it also stars one of my favourites... One of my favourites, one of many, that is, the very wonderful Aussie Nicole Kidman. As I say, I don't know a lot about this, and usually I watch a lot of trailers for movies. You know, if you watch the channel and you follow me, you know that I've, you know, I'm normally quite up to date. This is one of those that I stayed away from because I was really unsure if it was going to... It was one of those when it was advertised, you know, the posters and that. It was either going to be brilliant or it was going to be terrible. I'm kind of like that with it. I'm kind of like, one hand, I'm like, this is going to be really great. On the other hand, I'm like, oh, what? if it's crap so I don't know and you know and, and everyone I, I am friends with on YouTube and people in the community have all been going on how wonderful this movie is so I guess we will just have to wait and see so if you enjoy this video I do a lot more you know a lot of stuff like this subscribe to the channel I've got more coming out over the weekend more next week and I've got you know over 300 videos on the channel so again if you like it please hit the like button as well because that really does help the channel you know and it gets it pushed into the algorithm of the gods of the internet and stuff so yeah let's get into this the Northman, first time watching. Let's do this, baby. Dirty, dirty, dirty. The tone's already been set, the music, the dialogue, the scenery. Got a feeling this is going to be a bloody good film, you know. I mean, especially after seeing stuff like The Vikings, the TV show Vikings, which if you've not seen is, oh my God, it's outstanding. It's so good. So if you've never actually watched it, I highly, you know, I highly recommend it. It's very, very good. Hail, Lord King. Love Ethan Hawke. Love him. For a good smothering. <laughs> By Freya, you slander your lord and mistress. Please, your brother, tis but a jest. It's a bit serious, isn't it? This is very tense and uneasy, isn't it? Already. I mean, I've got to say, it's, he's concerned about his son, you know, because he's not seen the cruelty of the world yet, but it's definitely setting the tone that it's going to be a quite a dark movie. Ah, uh, he's doing some. His son's got to do some sort of trial or something. Move your blood. Safeguard your familial blood. Know you what that means, Arleth, son of Arvendi? This is so. It's all. This is so creepy. Oh wow. Oh right, I get it. So the the, the stuff that's in there, like hallucinating. I weren't figuring that out. Right, cool. Oh god, no. That's got to be a hallucination, right? That was an extremely trippy scene. That whole that whole thing in a cave and stomachs opening and trees of the kings, it was it was very very trippy. Oh my god. No. Christ, his dad's just been shot with loads of arrows. Why do I think it's his brother or the guy who was at the beginning with the black hair? Oh my God. See, it was a little bit predictable, a little bit predictable, but okay. It will soon be sliding off your arm like a serpent. That's a great speech, man. Will not last. 
he was prepared for death anyway, you could tell. Jesus Christ. Would he not go after the sun, though? Because he see it, and he knows that it's him, right? Bring me the boy's head! Bring me the boy's head. Nice uncle. What a toss pot. Boy. Ah. Oh my god, his nose is gone. Bat in the sea. Yeah. Oh, that's disgusting. I'm gonna make you father. I'm gonna send you mother. <sighs> Jesus Christ. That was really brutal. So we're jumping forward in time when he's a little bit older obviously so he's gone away kept his head down and he's gonna sort of work his way back in and that's when he will strike they're actually quite scary man no way did he just catch that he just caught that threw it back and hit him in the chest it's got some fantastic camera work like all of that in one shot, do you know what I mean? It's filmed really, really well. <laughs> he's, he's biting, he's, he's, he's just ripped his neck out, bit his neck out. Yeah, these blokes are a bunch of nutters, mate. They're gonna burn people alive, I mean, that's just sickening. That's awful. There's still only one thing in his heart, and that's revenge. The norms have spun. Now be gone! Wow, well, so that was creepy as hell, mate. So he's been told his fate of where to go, what to do, where his path will end. Yeah, the cinematography in this is quite outstanding. <laughs> it could kick your ass if he wanted to. He just looked at him, yeah, bitch. <laughs> oh, that's that guy from the beginning. Go fetch us some way. Think on what I said. One thing was right though is um, Ethan Hawke did say that he wouldn't be king for long, right? And he wasn't. He's right there. Surely he must know. He must know. It's family, right? But if you're as untrustworthy as a wolf, I swear I'll put you down myself. Ah, no you won't, mate. You're gonna die. You are gonna die. And her, too. Keep her arms white and her hair long. You creepy little fucker. You're kidding me. She's still alive. She's still alive. The only way I could describe this like life, it's just pure depravity. It's just awful. Ah, did his mum have an affair with the brother? Is that what's happening? Or am I reading this wrong? I don't know what this is called, but this, this chanting they do, this deep, like with their chest chanting, I love it. It's I love it. He speaks of days past. That's Willem Dafoe's head, bro. The undead. <laughs> A sword called the undead. That's that's nuts. Jesus Christ. Wowza. That is such a great shot as well. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> that was wicked. We cannot escape our fate. There's one thing as well, I love that, he's talking to the sword, which I think is quite mystical, and I really, really like that. You can celebrate after the game, I can't wait for him to kill this piece of crap, this guy here. I hate him. Great actor, whoever he is, brilliant, but ugh, don't like him. 
Oh my god. It's like a uh, hockey with bats. <laughs> He's trying to be unseen, I guess, isn't he? So he's sort of staying out of the way, be weak. Oh, you scumbag. Yes! Go on, take out the big guy. You're going down, big guy. Have one of them, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Did we win? Crazy kid nearly got killed. Who's this fella? Sean Paul with the Vikings. <laughs> One slave cannot escape him. Yes. Thank you. Yeah, that absolute piece of crap is gonna get some oh he's gonna get some i will find them and i will tear out their eyes and i will tear out oh you're such a little weasel shut up <laughs> jesus christ the dog is attacking him <laughs> yeah he's torturing him basically from within Oh my god! Oh! Father does not want an uprising by emboldened slaves. Do not. Do you know, I'm, I'm a bit, bit shocked that Nicole Kidman doesn't recognise her own son. I know she hasn't seen him since he was a kid, but you'd kind of know. Man, that nose is so busted, isn't it? Surely she's got to see him, right? How could she not know? Endure it to me because I bore him a son. His affections were only for silver and rotting his horse. She didn't care about him, Ethan Hawke. I knew it. Straight. Your uncle loved me, though he knew well my past. So she was banging him. He's going to have to kill his own mum, isn't he? It was I who begged on my knees for fuel. Oh dear, oh dear. So she did betray him. I knew it, man. I was laughing. Nice. She's a witch, mate. Chop off her head. You would be my new king, And together, we. Oh my. Uh, no, 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 no. Nah, mate. Told you I had a bad feeling about Nicole Kidman, didn't I? Bitch. His heart is taken his heart. Yep, he took out his heart. <laughs> Shut up. But this is the end you will all meet if you speak not what you know. No? She's the obvious choice. He was banging her. Come get it, bitch. I am armless a bad wolf. <laughs> I am his... And then he went and got caught. And see what hope we have before us. I would have gone with a girl, mate. But he is right at the same time. His uncle would never have quit. I'm Rosho Zabrezi. Divni vit vitilia kolobotu zubriyami. She's amazing. She's fucking amazing. Now the wolf has grown. He hungers for the rest. Oh my god. That is disgusting. I would execute her as well. I just would. Your own mother. Get in there. Straight through the chest, you bitch. And he got nothing. He ended up with a bloody farm, bruv. I suppose this is one way of doing it. Fighting on a volcano. It's 
It's got to be bloody hot there, isn't it? <laughs> Holy crap. What a shot. We are safe. So they made it, they got away. Into the gates of Valhalla he goes. Quest complete. Dirty, dirty, dirty. Right, ladies and gentlemen, that was The Northman. So I'm going to keep this sweet and I'm going to be to the point. Do I think this is a very good movie? Yeah. What would I give this out of 10? I'd say for the general public, like for the viewers out there that are going to watch this movie, I'd say it's probably an 8 out of 10. Do I love this movie? Not really. There were points of the movie where I thought it was a little bit slow. I do I love a good story and I love an in-depth story, but there were parts of the movie where it just felt like it, it dragged a little and I found myself sort of sitting there like, okay, get on with it. Now, I know that that's, that's just my opinion, and I know a lot of people are going to disagree with that and say that they love this movie. I think it's, there's nothing wrong with it. It's very well made. It's excellent um, cinematography, which I mentioned all the way throughout. It looks amazing. It had that epic ending, but it just felt, I can't put my finger on it, why I wasn't so sort of into it. I think the story was good, but it just didn't... I don't know, for some reason, it just didn't grip me as much as I thought it would. If you're into movies like this, Vikings and all that sort of stuff, you will love it. So I'll leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Ramon. This has been Hit or Miss TV watching The Northman. I'll see you guys again soon. Peace.